Uh, this is a chair. <laughs> ah, I like it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I, don't, I don't feel like a muffin on this one. <laughs> <laughs> we are so happy you're here. Thank you for coming. And I guess to begin with, uh, I, I would like to ask, you know, everybody to some extent I think is shaped by their childhood, but you really figured out pretty early on that you were interested in makeup and effects, monsters, a number of other things that have recurred throughout your life. So can well, you... Well, th that clip is actually based on something that happened to me as a kid. Tell us. I, I didn't screw a, a creature, <laughs> I didn't, but, but uh, I had a... Well, my parents didn't have a bathtub, and I dreamed of doing it, and they, they, like dreaming, swimming in a bathtub, and the, we had a glass uh, shower, and I stuck uh, towels at the bottom. It, was, it sealed perfectly, and I was up to my chest, and I realized that the door opened inwards. <laughs> so I was trapped like Houdini. Right. And I finally opened it, and my father was not happy with the results. <laughs> but, but what is it uh, about monsters, again, from the earliest uh, memories of your life that you have, you know, and monsters can obviously come in a lot of different varieties. This monster is not two-dimensional, you know, there's not just good or bad. There are people have, like people, monsters can have different sides to their personality. That is, you know, the creature in uh, Shape of Water for most, uh, for the ha first half of the movie, is sort of a blank where people project what they want to project onto. And the last third, he comes on his own, and we could talk about that. But for me, uh, what happened um, when Mexico was conquered, there was a phenomenon called syncretism, in which the Catholic religion of the conquerors fused with the old religion that was pre-Hispanic. Pre and in my case, that happened with Catholicism and monsters. They fused. And I, I, when I was a very young kid, I, I truly uh, was redeemed by, this, by these uh, figures. I, I didn't, where other people saw horror, I saw beauty. And where people saw normalcy, I saw horror. <laughs> when I, when I, and I realized that the true monsters are in the human heart. It was not the appearance, you know? Yes. Mimic. A movie that you made 20 years Speaking ago. Speaking of monsters. Yes. This, was, this is a movie from 20 years ago. It was an it was a unpleasant experience, the way you've described it for you. It was your first movie in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. um, but what one good thing that came out of it was a relationship that extends all the way through The Shape of Water, sort of your go-to monster, Doug, Doug Jones. Jones. Doug Jones. Two people that I work with, uh, three people that work with Mimic, uh, my camera operator, Gilles Corbeil, my sound guy in Canada, you know, Glenn Gauthier, Dan Lauston, my cinematographer, and Doug Jones. They all come from Mimic. That's amazing. And what is it, though, about Doug Jones? And I think you've spoken about his physicality and just different things that make him equipped to be a well, great monster. It, amongst the many disciplines of uh, puppeteering and creation, uh, there's one thing in Japan that is called Bonraku, in which uh, an actor dressed in black operates a puppet. Uh, in a black stage. It's a very beautiful discipline, very magical. And the, the good Bon Raku artist moves the creature or the character, but the excellent Bon Raku artist fuses with the puppet. And that's what Dog does. Dog is, you know, there's a rarefied um, type of performer that can work in a suit. Some great actors are terrible on their makeup. Uh, and then out of those performers, there's the rarest of the rarest, which is a guy that can actually act and be an actor under makeup, and that's Doug Jones. He can, uh, he can do it. Uh, one, one anecdote that was beautiful is Richard um, Jenkins, uh, his first day of shooting is with this creature in, a, in the bathtub. And he comes in and Doug is eating a bagel and sipping coffee from a, from a phone cup, and Richard comes to me and says, what the fuck is this? <laughs> There's a guy in a fish suit. I go, what are we doing? I go, relax, relax. <laughs> and, and Doug goes into the bathtub, and, you know, he's talking to Richard, and he has this really folksy Mr. Rogers voice, right. Doug. And, he, oh, yeah, I know, whatever. I mean, this is my American accent. <laughs> Sorry. It sounds Danish. But then, then, and then yeah, he, he's talking to Richard, and Richard, I say action, and Doug instantly goes into 
acting, and it's a creature that has never seen a bathtub, has never seen tiles, and Richard said, immediately I was in. Mm 